case has brought new attention to the issue of anchor babies in this country, the millions of them, as Jonathan Freed just reported, children of illegal aliens who are awarded American citizenship because they were born in this country. There is a rising movement to change that practice. Casey Wyan has the report. The Texas state legislature is considering a law to deny welfare and other benefits to the American citizen children of illegal aliens. The specific goal is to raise the debate about the question of birthright citizenship. Does the fact of a person's birth on the soil of the United States, even if the parents of that individual are illegal immigrants, qualify that person for all the benefits and privileges of citizenship. Sponsors hope it will lead to a Supreme Court review of the 14th Amendment, passed in 1868 to ensure citizenship to former slaves. Today it's widely interpreted as a guarantee of citizenship to virtually anyone born in this country. The 14th Amendment states, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States. Some border security activists say the words subject to the jurisdiction thereof exclude the children of illegal aliens because they're also citizens of their parents' country. The 14th Amendment does not need to be changed. It needs to be enforced, just like all of the other laws that we have currently that are not being enforced. The Supreme Court has never ruled directly on how the 14th Amendment applies to the U.S.-born children of illegal aliens. But the court has granted even illegal alien children access to public education and health care. Certainly looking at the writing on the wall and the protection that the Supreme Court has felt ought to be provided under the 14th Amendment to undocumented children it's difficult to see how uh, the Supreme Court would be willing to uh, likewise deny protection to citizen children. So some lawmakers are trying to change the 14th Amendment by granting automatic citizenship only to children with at least one parent who's a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident. 88 lawmakers co-sponsored a bill in the House last year that would have made that change, but it stalled in committee. The proposed Texas law is another example of local governments trying to crack down on illegal immigration because the federal government has failed to do it, Lou. A very tough issue. Uh, and we should point out, uh, Casey, that uh, that legislation you just talked about, uh, there's been a lot of discussion uh, in the wake of November 7th uh, that people who are, uh, who are concerned about illegal immigration running for office uh, were rejected at the polls. It turns out that's not at all the case, just another example of some propagandizing being done by the advocates uh, in this case. Uh, we should point out of those 88 sponsors of House Resolution uh, 698, the case you just reported on, 79 of those congressmen were re-elected to their posts. Five did lose their bid for re-election. Uh, four did not seek re-election. Casey Wine, thank you very much for reporting tonight from Los okay. Angeles. That brings us to the subject of our poll tonight. Do you believe the legal interpretation of the Constitution permitting citizenship to the children of illegal aliens should be challenged? Yes or no? Cast your vote at LouDobbs.com. We'll have the results here later in the broadcast. Up next, weeks after being shadowed by a Chinese submarine, the American military is now participating in joint naval exercise with the Chinese.